Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm definitely doing better than when I filmed my video last week. Um, months ago, I ended up having a moment where the depression, the anxiety, everything overwhelmed me. And I said things that hurt people I love. And it was never intended to cause them pain, but it did and cause damage to relationships that are dear to my heart. Since that time, I've been through a lot of deep inner healing of God just really getting down and just bringing his truth and his love and his healing and just Yeshua's presence into these deep places that would cause my pain to well up in these ways. Um, and <laughs> even though I've been through all of that healing and I just am really doing better at walking out who I am in, in him, there are moments when things happen and it's hard not to sift into those old uh, thought patterns and and to feel like I just need to be condemned and everything. Um, and what had happened was I had tried to send an apology to one of the people that I had hurt um, because during the fall feast, you know, one of the things that we really need to do is work on mending our relationships and mending those places that um, are not um, the way they should be and so I had mailed an apology to one of these people that I had hurt and it came back in the mail and it was extra hard because it's like I hadn't even written the return address on there um, because I was afraid that would happen and it still happened and so when it came back in the mail, inside I just felt like I deserved to be condemned for what I did, for what I said, for the pain that I caused and those I love. I, I deserved condemnation and rejection. I, I started to take on those things again that I had already given to God through my counseling. And I was starting to live in that place of depression and have my joy disappear again because I just felt so condemned and so unworthy of God's love. And um, I would just been working on, on just spending time with God and trying to give him these things and to keep praying for the people that I've been in conflict with because I love them dearly and I only want God's best for them and it grieves my heart it grieves my heart that I caused them pain that my lack of self-control and ability to keep my emotions in check caused me to just get angry and and hurtful it was never my intention to cause pain but I did. And you know what? <laughs> God forgives me for that. And I need to just rest in that forgiveness and just know that that's not who I am. I repented of what I did. I have sought healing for what I did. And I don't need to keep punishing myself and refusing myself the, the uh, gift of sitting in that joy of the Lord and that joy of who I am in him because he has set me free and made me a new creation. I'm not going to deny myself that just because the people I wounded are still hurt. And I just pray that God will heal them and, and take away any bitterness and stuff that I've planted inside of them from my sinful actions. But I wrote a little song, and um, yeah. There's a weight that I've carried for far too long, and it's weighing down my heart so I can sing your song. It's time that this burden is passed on to you. Though it grieves my heart, it's what you asked me to do. You pay the price on that cross at Calvary. 
You pay the price for my sins and set me free. No longer am I a slave to sin. You set me free from that burden. There are days when my flesh gets in the way and makes me do things I regret to this day. But I don't need to stay in that place of pain because your blood wants me clean of every stain. You pay the price on that cross at Calvary. You pay It's not who I am anymore. You pay the price on that cross at Calvary. Pay the price for my sins and set me free. No longer am I a slave to sin. You set me free from that burden. And on the day I can stand within your firm embrace and know that my sin has been erased. You pay the price on that cross at Calvary. You pay the price for my sins and set me free. No longer am I a slave to sin. And he did. Yeshua paid the price for everything that I've done, for every sin that I have committed and every sin that I will commit. He has paid the price and that doesn't mean that I'm free to just keep sinning, but that means that in those moments when I do sin, he already paid the price and I don't need to punish myself for it. So I hope that that was a blessing to you all and um, just know that we're called to forgive ourselves because God forgave us and how are we treating that gift and that awful price that was paid for that gift if we sit here and we decide that we're going to condemn ourselves and we're going to live in a place of guilt and shame forever because we feel so unforgivable. That is spitting in the face of Yeshua. No matter what you did, no matter who you hurt and how they feel, God forgives you and you just need to step into that forgiveness. And the sooner you step into that forgiveness, the sooner you can start living in who you really are through Yeshua Messiah. Because who you are in God is not going to be filled with guilt and shame and condemnation. It's going to be set free, joyful, gentle, loving, patient, kind. And you can't live 
from that place, you can't produce those beautiful fruits when you are living in a place of shame and condemnation. So, I ask you today, if you are struggling with those things as I have struggled for so long, give it to God. Let Him take it from you so that you can be who you really are. God bless you all.